When you come to Punta Cana, you know it's all about the all-inclusive resorts, but I wanted to find adventure, and I did find that at Skate Park. Make sure you watch till the end to see all the adventures you can do from the fun to the scary. Good morning. We just arrived at Skate Park. The bus dropped us off, and now we're checking in here at the front. I'm very, very excited. I'm ready to get in the water and have some fun. Let's go. Finally, I made it inside skate park. First, you get your wristband, and also they do a photo for your identification purposes. So it feels very secure and safe when you come here. And this is the gift shop. Here you can get lockers to store your stuff, which I need because I brought my backpack. But let's go check out what else there is to do here. Hello guys, if you see behind me, those are the lockers. So when you come to skate park you can bring your stuff and valuables and know that they're safe after getting settled in and learning more about what I should do first in the souvenir shop I headed to go check out the monkeys before going on my first zip line heading up to go on the zip line all the way over there another adventure let's go wow this is so cool so far it's definitely an adventure park at first I was wondering if there would be hiking involved, but there definitely is some hiking and it's pretty fun so far. Hiking from zipline to zipline, there was an adventure around every corner, but it was always rewarding. So first zipline down and now heading through the jungle skate park, off to a good start so far. And now just hiking up here to get to the next zipline. Here we go. This is round two, but I wanted to bring you again because I feel a little bit more confident to show you via GoPro what it's like to go down some of the zip lines. But wow, I'm out of breath. But this is so far so fun. Whew. But one thing to know is this is a workout, so you won't be getting off easy. We have the Igua Bonita Cave, which has bats in it as well as the following the zip line path. But here we go, let's go round two. It's time to go on the largest zip line by far with amazing views of Cap Cana and Punta Cana. This place is so fun so far, but one thing I love about it is that they're paying homage to the Tainos people that were here before Christopher Columbus, long before Christopher Columbus came here. The Tainos people came to Dominican Republic, Cuba, Puerto Rico, and other islands in the Caribbean, and they came on small ships compared to the big ships that Christopher Columbus came on. And this is one thing that you can do here. There's a cultural route with signs that tell you all about the traditions of the Tainos, the religion, and the there's different totems of the different gods they had. And yeah, it's just definitely a nice added touch to already an amazing park. I had fun. I did the zip line already. I'm going to try to see if I can get a video of that because it was really fun. There's uh, seven zip lines along the mountainside or cliffside over there. But yes, yeah, so far so good. It's been a relaxing day. I love being outside. And yeah, I just can't wait to show you some more of the skate park. One thing I learned was that this island, you know, you hear about Santo Domingo in history books and that, but you don't realize the Dominican Republic is where the new world was really further discovered. I don't want to say fully discovered because people were already there, but literally everybody like Hernando Cor like Cortez, all the conquistadors, they set foot in Santo Domingo and on this island that Christopher Columbus called Hispaniola. I just find it really interesting that every single conquistador stepped foot almost in Santo Domingo and in Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, before they headed off to explore different parts of Central America and South America. And now, yeah, it's just interesting that a lot of people just come here to go to the resorts and they forget about exploring the history as well. So this is just a little reminder in skate park. what a colonial or home would have looked like. This is a Dominican casita or recreation of it. Wow. 
There's a beer that definitely was not there in the 1500s. Right now, I'm heading to go do the cave swim. I'm gonna see if I can bring my phone. If I can't, I'll come back later with the GoPro. But yeah, I just wanna come over and check it out and see the lay of the land to ski park before I dive right in. Just before the cave swim, I actually came across a coffee demonstration at a casita and little farm they have in Skate Park to show you what it would be like to live on a local farm. In a Dominican casita with Dominican with Dominican hospitality. No. New friends over some Dominican coffee. <laughs> Cheers. Uruguay, Uruguay Dominican. <laughs> yes. So, taste test. Mm, very good, but also a lot of sugar. And I like it. But yes, this is the Dominican casita. It's beautiful. And this is the Dominican casita. Very simple, but also. It has a few, at least it has separate rooms because people could then have some space between the common area and that. But I'm sure a lot of the things that occurred here happen outside. Look at this, like a hammock and a table outside where people can come together, friends and family, a place for the chickens, and even a little farm out there. So yes, definitely a unique, house i love the colors as well but i'm glad i like took a little extra hike back here it's very nice and we have some i think they're donkeys <laughs> so we're almost to the cave swim area it's right behind me it looks like check it i love that you have to like get a little like really hike and get a little into the woods to enjoy some of the attractions here it's definitely a unique experience Time to go down these stairs and into the cave. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to bring my phone, but I'll see what it looks like. Oh my God. Check this out. How deep does this go down there? Arriving to the cave swim. Definitely deeper cave than I thought. I'm wondering how far this cave swim goes or if you come back up the same way. Now I'm heading to this zip line splash or the hammocks before they shut for just an hour because it gives the people a time to get a lunch break. But we're almost there. We're here at the Saltos Azules and I'm about to do this zip line splashing. I'm very excited. I'm ready to get wet. I'm hot again after walking a lot. Basically, I'm going to be holding on to that and then when he blows the whistle, I'm supposed to let go. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm going to try it. Oh, uh, here we go. All right. What do I do? I don't know if I can do that. All right guys, that was so much fun. I almost chickened out. I'll probably put that in the bloopers. And then after I just went, this little kid just went, no problem, he just went for it. But it was really fun. I'm glad I tried that experience. That was the first for me. Now what should I do? Hi, hola. But yes, this is pretty awesome. Check it out. Time to go check these waterfalls out. Oh, this is so pretty. Back through the waterfall. Let's go. This is so nice. I'm so glad I came to Virginia. But 
this pool is really nice. It's called the relaxing area. So I'm relaxing as much as I can. Oh, this is nice weather though. And the water is the perfect temperature. I'm letting my dress dry because I did this thing with my dress on. So it was kind of funny. Oh wow, look at that. After relaxing for a bit, it was time to check out the other zip lines. So I'm prepared to do another zip line. First you do a zip line, I guess, over some water, and then you do a hammock swing ride and you get wet. That's why you have to have this on, the life jacket. But yes, there's a lot of activities and I just keep going, going, going. So after this, I'll probably have lunch, sit down in the relaxation zone, and chill. Going again, hopefully to get another video. That was awesome. Now we have another zip line. I think this will be the last one for the day. But so far, so good. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Woo! I'm putting my feet up. Ah! It was time to eat after working up such an appetite exploring. Okay, I am pooped. I've been doing so many zip lines as well as just swimming and running from end to end to this park. So I decided to treat myself to some food for lunch here. The prices are pretty reasonable. I got a Coke and the chicken fingers and fries, very Americanized food, but for $12, not gonna complain. But yes, I am going to enjoy this and then maybe read a little bit, relax, and then hit up. There's some blue hole, swimming hole area that somebody recommended and then just walk around. Then I'll head back to grab my stuff at Walla Urban Punta Cana and head to check out my first all-inclusive resort ever, the Occidental Caribe. I just had a good lunch, well, filling lunch. It wasn't anything really Dominican. Now I'm just going to head to the Oya Azul. It's like this, I guess, open swimming hole area. And then I think I'm going to see the Bat Cave. There's so much to do here. It really is a full day excursion. Heading to the Igua Bonita cave to see the bats. I tried to go earlier, but they actually, like, I had the harness and stuff on for the zip line, and they said I had to come around this way. And then after I check out this cave, I'll head to go to the Oya Azul, which is like this swimming hole area. And yeah, then I've like pretty much completed, I believe, every activity there is to do at skate park. And I might go swimming or go to the relaxed chill area and or grab a cup of coffee, I don't know. Then at 5 p.m. our bus leaves to take us back to our hotels and resorts. But yes, this is definitely a cool experience. You can see all these different types of birds here, which is pretty cool. Igua Bonita Cave. Here are a few tips I have for you for skate park though. Check out my shoes. Do not wear flip-flops because as you see, there's a lot of hiking and walking and stairs involved at skate park. So definitely bring some shoes, especially if they're water shoes. Like I have these Keens shoes and they're good for the water and hiking and have a good grip on the bottom for like, you know, doing this type of stuff. But yeah, I would definitely say a good pair of shoes that are comfortable on your feet because you'll get wet and you're also gonna be doing a lot of walking. Next is when you go to do this Oya Azul and the hike up to the Igua Bonita. I definitely suggest you do it at this time because the sun is going that way later in the afternoon. So you're kind of hidden in the trees, in the shade and underneath the cliffside. So you're not getting the sun beating down on you as you're hiking uphill. Oh, and a third tip is you can bring your own lock for the locker. I brought my own lock by accident. I didn't even know it was in my backpack from my last trip and that saved me $5. So if you happen to see this, that's my travel tip for you for skate park.
right now I'm at the top of skate park and yes I've after almost completing every activity right now I'm just going to the Igua Bonita Bat Cave and then to the Hoya Azul. I have really really enjoyed my time here there's so many things to do and it's really fun I think if you're solo or with a family to like come here to do some adventure activities in a safe fun way and the people here have been super friendly as well but for now let's continue on our journey to see the bat cave and see if I freak out or not <laughs> let me know in the comments what do you think about bats because every time I've tried to see bats they like something went wrong and the snake is leaving but the snake crossed my path on this path heading to the bat cave they said I need to hurry because I need to catch up to the tour I didn't know there were tour times but hey we're on our way I saw a snake and yep just heading down this path right now We're here in the Pat Cave. Looks pretty crazy. All the good times just begun. We know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. You can do it. Oh, and this? Yeah, okay. This is legit. This is legit. So, so cool. All these stalactites and stalagmites. Still haven't seen a bat yet, but that is definitely interesting. So that was actually pretty awesome. I saw one bat, kind of, but my eyesight's bad, so. But on the other hand, instead of a bat, we saw a scorpion spider, as well as a tarantula. And on the walk over there, I saw a freaking, I don't know, I thought I heard something. I don't like that. But yeah, now I'm heading back to go to Oya Azul and then, That'll complete my day at skate park, and then I take the bus back to um, get my bag at Walla and head to Occidental Carib. So far, this actually is like, you know, to get everything done and to enjoy your time, you definitely need the full day, but you could also come and do some of the highlights and probably leave at 3.30 if you want, but you want to get everything done if you do that. Next up, Oya Azul. And this will be the last activity of the day before heading back to pack up my stuff for my locker and head out. Then I'm gonna relax at an all-inclusive for the next two nights. Who knows what will happen there because I've never stayed at one. So this will be a new experience for me. And I'm super excited to catch up. <laughs> to share it with you guys and catch it on camera because I think it'll be fun. I remember seeing these in St. Thomas for sure. This park just keeps throwing in surprises. Here's the moment of truth, less than 50 yards away, and we'll be at Oyo Azul. Oh wow, this looks cool. God, this is 49 feet deep.
So that's a wrap guys. I just jumped in the Oya Azul and it was beautiful. It was beyond words like how clear the water was. It is a bit of a hike, but it was so worth it. And yes, now rushing back to grab my stuff out of the locker, maybe change into some warm clothes or normal clothes. And then off on the bus. But yes, this was such a fun day and I highly recommend it. If you want like a day of adventures, zip lining as many times as you want and doing a lot of cool activities, then this is definitely the place for you. And just like that, it's time to change. Let's get going. I don't want to miss this bus now. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, you can, so you can buy pictures that they offer, but I'm not going to because I took a ton of photos, but they do take your photos and videos throughout the whole park, so if that is something you want, then you can get it and not have to worry about your photos or even videos being taken of you, which I think is pretty sweet. I actually bought that similar thing in Disney's, and it's worth it if you don't want to worry about taking a bunch of photos, but for now... We're heading off to go to the bus stop and they'll bring us back to our hotels, which is super lovely. So for now, bye skate park. I'm arriving, it's about 6.30 for check-in. I'm a little late, but I had an amazing day at the skate park. So I'm hoping, I didn't realize that you need reservations at the different restaurants at All Inclusive, so hopefully they can get me into the Paris or Tokyo one, which is more formal. I'm gonna get dressed really quickly and hopefully have an amazing meal tonight because I definitely work for it. And then there's like, I think there's like five restaurants and a ton of bars, so I'm very excited. Here we go, let's go. And just like that, it was the end of another adventure and time to say bye to my friends at Skate Park and hello to my friends at the Occidental Caribe, my first all-inclusive resort. I'm excited to share it with you next week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it and the notification bell as well. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments.